Welcome to Run It Down. If they are not running it down, then it's not G2. Today, I'm here with the two best people we could find, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> <these are laughs> Everyone else is on vacation. Yeah, you're, just, you're, just, you're just stuck with us at this point, honestly. Like. How was that roller coaster, you know, of emotions in you know, during playoffs? How did you guys deal with that? So, well, personally, after we lost the Mad Lions, I was like, okay, well, we're pretty trash, but we can probably do better. But then we started screaming a bit again, and we were pretty bad in scrims as well. So I was like, okay, yeah, probably not going to win if we play like this. But then uh, we started actually like having a lot of productive scrims and talked a lot more about the game as a team. So we were getting better and better, and we could all see that. And then uh, the OG series, we were playing like much better than the last week. So I was a bit more confident, but still like Fnatic looked pretty good in their other games. So I was like a bit uh, flippy how it was gonna go. But then yeah, we just uh, after the one day before when we were preparing for Fnatic and we were discussing draft, I was like, okay, there's no way we lose a draft. So and draft is ninety percent of the game, so we're probably gonna win. Yeah, I mean uh, he described it pretty well, right? Uh, I think we were not really. I mean, not really that prepared. For not even just maps, just like playoffs in general, I think like our understanding of the meta because well we only had week nine and then we had playoffs next week. It was like really bad. Um, yeah, I mean we were kind of all over the place. I think if we just like stuck to probably like one thing, we would have probably done better. Uh, but one game we were playing like Kalista full top side. The other game we were playing like yeah full scaling, or we were playing something where we were supposed to go full bot side, you know, but we didn't really know how to like play out every single draft. And that kind of led us to, yeah, I mean, just make like a lot of mistakes, uh, even though like in the finals and against Origin, we still made like so many mistakes as well. It was like way, way worse against uh, the first time we played against uh, Matt. It seems like as the playoffs go on, we just, we just peak, we just peak up information and all of a sudden we just sort of change the way we play throughout the playoffs, right? No. Uh, which, which tells me that maybe, um, you know, losing against Mad Lions was actually the best thing that could have happened to us. That's true. Think, Would you agree to that? Yeah, I think if we didn't lose, we'd probably just, like, lose against, like, the next week, and then maybe it wouldn't be as... We, we wouldn't have as big of a wake-up call, I guess, because maybe we lose against Fnatic, oh, they're just too good, like, maybe we wouldn't prepare as hard, but after losing Mad Lions, it was, like, a bit of a yikes. So, yeah. <laughs> So when when you guys were training in the previous week, so this this past seven days or well past ten days, whatever, um, comparably to how you guys trained um, to the series against Mad Lions, what are some of the differences you guys see? Uh, I think I think mainly like when we played against uh, when we played scrims, we were just in, in the final week, we were just like way more um, like we just understood way more. Like for example, I knew coming into draft that if you have like hyper carry bot I'm most likely playing a tank so like drafting and just game plan and everything was just the same so it was like very easy to kind of approach the game and we it was easier for us to know if we did a mistake in draft because it was hard to play or if we just because like normally when we scrim we are like playing so many things uh, during a week that if one game goes wrong, for example, let's say we play Asir two games. Uh, we, play like, we play like the Asir tank, whatever comp we played, two games in scrims, in a normal scrim week. And early game, let's say we level one, invade, we die, uh, we get solo killed uh, every day. And then we are like, okay, let's drop it, it doesn't work, or it's, it's trash. But, but, but now, like in the final week, we are like kind of playing the same way so many times, so we can kind of like... We just have like a bigger sample size, so we just know like what to do in different in, in given situations, right? So yeah, that that's like but, but, the main that's the main difference for sure. But when you look at the drafts against Mad Lions and then the day after against Fnatic, they're so insanely different. Um, what what happened? Because you can you obviously can't scream, you can't possibly scream enough to have enough sample size to know that whatever comp is good enough to be used. Yeah, I mean, okay, so Caps had, like, uh, his idea of how to draft, like, the day before. Uh, the dream. We played, like, like the night before Fnatic. Uh, it's something we've tried before, like, some, uh, not necessarily, like, 
I mean, also Lulu Korkma we have tried before, but um, yeah, I mean, I think against Matt we played Vayne Yumi, right? So it's not like we played mm -hmm. that that much different. We also played Astro some games and uh, Tank. But yeah, I mean, f uh, for sure, like we had, we didn't have to like show everything against Matt, I guess. We didn't have to like, we were not really sweating that much. I mean, like game three was kind of annoying because of all the pauses, right? And uh, yeah. And just like how, yeah. We, so we just basically, I don't know if you were ahead um, that much. Not really. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I think during the pause, it was like sort of close. And then after the pause, it was like crumbling. Yeah, yeah we were like, we was falling apart, right? But yeah, we didn't have to show that much. So I think, um, well, we just have like had like this idea against Fnatic that I guess worked. They didn't really know how to respond to it. So we just kept going with it and they didn't, yeah. They had so many locked bans because they don't play that many champs and they have to ban like so many OP champions that it's kind of hard for them to like uh, ban out our pocket picks or whatever we had for that series. Yeah, I think it was much harder to draft against Mad Lions just because you don't know what they will ban or pick. But against Fnatic we knew exactly what three bans they're going to ban and exactly what they're going to first pick. So it was much easier to prepare what we're going to pick. But for Mad Lions we only had like we had this uh, this plan that we first pick Yumi, and if they take away Ezreal, we go Vayne. We never played Vayne before in scrims, but we were just like, yeah, it sounds pretty good on paper, you know, and they'll probably not ban it 4-5, so we can just go 4-5 with AD carry, because people probably usually expect like MF or something, and then they some they usually play like Leona or Nautilus into Yumi, so Vayne just like one-shots them as soon as she gets played, or like just before that, that was also kind of first time, but that was like that was like the only kind of plan I guess we had in draft but for Fnatic we actually had a, like the whole draft planned out before we played them because we just knew what they were gonna do I guess. Bro in game one when I saw you guys just insta locking all the time I was like what? <laughs> oh yeah we had to remake <laughs> in draft. <laughs> no, oh really? No. What? I mean for, first first like three picks we were kind of insta locking anyways right? Yeah. It was true. like Asir, what was Asir Deeson? Asir Jalan. Asir Jalan and yep. uh, Orn on three right? Yeah. So, so uh, last year against FPX, um, I, I feel like you know th th during those playoffs, you could see who adapted better to to meta, right? And and you could see how FPX was playing this weird style with like Nautilus mid and like tanks mid, and it just worked really well, right? He, they even played Galio mid, right, as well, and, yeah. and and shit like that. So, <clears throat> do you think that the current mindset we have in the team in regards to meta games and how to adapt to them is right now much healthier to deal with something like that in future playoffs than the way we were playing before i think well that they didn't really adapt to the meta i think they kind of made the meta because the no, meta, one else, yeah. Yeah, no one else was really playing like nautilus galio mid or rumble mid because oh, yeah. i think Dumbi was kind of the first one to start playing it and everything looked pretty op so they were just kind of ahead of the curve, I guess. Um, but I think just overall, we are much better as a team now than we were like last year. Just like how we communicate, how we move on the map as a team. And yeah, it just feels easier, I guess, to play. So you, you think you're better equipped with the current way you, the team understands the game. Um, and of course, well, there's a difference between caps and perks, undeniably, you know. Uh, one, one is better than the other in some things, the other is better than the one in some things. And and one thing that, that after speaking with you guys internally, I've, I've been able to gather is that Perks is, you know, likes to talk a lot, right? And he's a guy that takes a lot of, uh, how do you call that? Responsibility, right? Uh, when in-game and making calls and, and maybe that sort of fits very well in, in you know, playing mid. Uh, do you think having the, these new dynamics compared to last year help you better identify you know what's op and and to play it and to be ready to counter it and stuff like that i mean everyone had to like kind of learn i guess their role within the team uh, mm -hmm. i mean mainly like on, on the bot side right because i mean of course miki is playing with a new ad and jungle is playing with like basically new lanes as well in terms of how they communicate i just think that um and then there's wonder I think, yeah, no, there's just me, which is like kind of the same. <laughs> uh, but I think like one thing that uh, for sure changed was it, like, is that Caps, when he was playing mid lane, he was like more, um, he li liked to have like plans where he could like do something on his own. So like kind of like solo, solo plans, solo plays. 
Um, I guess he was also laning alone, but not it was not really like that much involved with uh, jungle. Besides, we were playing against Dam one, and they just ran top twenty four seven with Yasu, Dragas, or whatever they played. Um, but Caps on bot lane, he at least like in the past like three weeks, he's learned to be like way more demanding or like uh, he, he's like very authoritative when it comes to like how he wants to play the game if he has a lead like where he wants to go on the map and what he wants to do in the game um, and i think that's something he evolved as uh, as a player by well moving to ad and that's for sure something that like helps up, hel helps us in the game it's also something he has become out of the game so when it comes to like drafts stuff he wants to play and like stuff he doesn't want to play uh, he doesn't want to play um so i think for sure well, we'll not see like Pike mid probably and uh, whatever we saw against FPX, but uh, maybe we'll see bot now instead. Who knows? <laughs> True. Okay. Do, do you think overall after you know the first split in 2020, and even though it was a little weird, you know, because of this Corona situation, but do you think that LEC is relative to the rest of the world and relative to the to the other regions? stronger than last year or weaker the same how do you guys feel about it well compared to last spring i guess we are lec is probably stronger I, I i'd say at least i think last last spring it was like origin us in the finals Fnatic was kind of lost so yeah, i think for sure this spring teams are better but not better than the end of summer, I think. I think the end of summer where we went like 3-2 against... It was mainly Fnatic, I guess. Um, I guess just us and Fnatic, we were like a bit better than we are right now. Um, but I think come summer, it's probably going to be the same. Or, or EU is even going to be better. Because I think the, the teams outside us and Fnatic have like been more they have like been willing to like play more like explosive or like different things. Um, and like also do something in the game to try and win and i don't think they've been like as afraid of like playing teams like us and fanatic as they might have been in the past because like i can feel that from uh, mainly like laning and like just like game like games that like a lot of teams they just go for dives they like trade sides go for like heavy dives maybe in the past they would just like sit back and try to farm for late you know or something like this and now we are the ones who are like farming for late instead uh, so yeah, the, the other teams are for sure better, but I think uh, the top teams are maybe like a little bit worse as well. Okay. The, the, were, were you shocked with the 3-0? Um, do you think, I mean, do you expect that? And I wonder, I know what you will just say because because I saw your fucking tweet. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, my tweet, man. It's the goddamn tweet, man. It never fails. Um, but do you really expect the 3-0? Or do you really expect like a one-sided game like this? Uh, I mean, I thought our game plan was like very good for game one at least and I think um, I think like with that in mind I at least expected us to maybe like get the I, I just thought in my head if we get like the first game free win perhaps we can get like the second game and if we get the second game like the third game is really free win as well because then like it's just like done for them uh, so yeah I mean I thought we could 3-0 them but I, like I was not like 100% sure of course I think uh, <laughs> in my head we were like so we're on red side. They were, when we were red side, they already had three locked bands on blue, which is not usually good. So if we were get if we were to get blue, they would have even more bands. So we would for sure get like an OP pick on blue. So we felt like if we win one game on red side, then we if we lose, we just pick blue and we're probably gonna win. So and and in the first red side game, we will get Kogma Lulu no matter what. So we probably have one free win, and then even if they win two games, we get blue sets two games and they will win three two worst case. I was like, okay, it's probably going to be like a 3-1, 3-2, but yeah, 3 I mean, it wasn't really expected. So we, we always shit on grabs. Uh, it's half memes. Well, mostly memes, right? Uh, but but these, these drafts were actually pretty sick, right? And and I know this is always a team effort. Whether the draft comes out well or if it comes out like shit, it's always a team effort, right? But 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 I, th I think it's time that, dra that, that, that grabs, you know, get some good words from you guys. So I'm just going to give you the chance to give grabs a couple of words. Mickey, you can start. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, grabs definitely helped a lot. I mean, he made some 
I mean, yeah, she prepared some food for us and. Uh, so that was. That was. That was, <laughs> that was, that was oh, yeah, okay. It wasn't even grabs. <laughs> so what do grabs do? Uh, yeah, it's a good question. <laughs> no, I think. Um, okay, good stuff. Uh, uh, wonder. <laughs> what do you What do you say? Uh, I think grabs. Um, he was very good at just letting us run the draft because when he, <laughs> I think when he woke up in the morning and he heard the uh, Caps's idea, he like just. He, he was like, yeah, here we go again, you know. It's like the classic meme, here we go again. He threw out yeah. his draft papers. <laughs> and, then, and then we just sold him grabs. You just have to stand behind and be a coach for the cameras. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's honestly something he's, he hasn't done too well in the past. I mean, he's like kind of disrespecting the tournaments in terms of like his, his, uh, his uh, outfit, right? Um, his stage attire, yeah. Uh, but this time, I mean, we are in the we are in the house, so it's not it, business casual. Kind of takes like a new level, you know. Um, <laughs> he could like kind of walk around in his slippers if he wanted to, probably. Uh, so he was like very much at home, and we could really feel that he was a very calm voice, telling us to just do whatever we want, uh, because he had like no clue what what the hell was going on, right? So uh, I think I think that's like one one thing he did really really well, uh, and yeah, of course. Uh, we are all, uh, what is it called? No, never mind. I'm not going to say that that's too much for talk shows, actually. I, I, I would just say he has a girlfriend. Um, and she cooks some muffins, some brownies, whatever. Uh, they were really good. And we are very grateful for Yeah, some berries as well. Very nice. Yeah. That is, that is awesome. Okay. So uh, what Grabs did best is uh, have an amazing girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if you put it that way then uh, then yeah, okay. yeah actually yeah. so Wonder you actually dominated Buipo uh, uh-huh. it wasn't like it wasn't like it wasn't like even close it was actually I was actually cringe I was rooting for the guy actually I was rooting for him to kill you at some point actually okay so what 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 the fuck happened what the fuck happened what happened uh, so I think like I was playing sac sac one game and orange two games, right? And I think yes. like I've had like that a, sounds like a, fun, eh? Yeah, it was pretty fun. <laughs> I've had a, so so because I'm playing these champs for like the past two weeks now. Uh, I have like my own mini games in game. So like when I play orange and scrims, I just go for all the auto attacks I can on enemy champ and all the like uh, all the traits basically. I take all of them, and uh, if jungler can't stop and kills me, it's fine because then bot lane carries. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so basically that was like that's like my entire game plan like pretty much every single day I wake up I lock in a tank and I just go and hit people in the face and lane uh, and then we just see how it goes from there you know and and I think Bripo was not really uh, he was not really ready for that kind of playstyle that just goes and auto attacks him <laughs> he just goes and auto attacks him and like throws all my spells at him and and yeah uh, yeah so I think like his Silas kind of crumbled like he already kind of lost lane after like level 3 and his sack kind of lost lane after level 2 uh, yeah so that was not very good for him right but, uh, <laughs> but, but I mean so maybe did... maybe next time he plays my tank he just knows he has to sit under his tower against my own <laughs> so do you, do you play do you play more League of Legends these previous two weeks than you did, than you did during the season uh I don't think so. You train no. a bit I played, more. I played more. Uh, I played more League of Legends before a game against Mad Lions that we lost than the rest. Okay. Because I had, I was like, kind of on the Kalista top hype train, so I played like a oh, lot yeah. of Kalista top. Uh, but after that, I play like, if you're lucky, you can maybe catch me like one game a day or something. <laughs> is that for? Is that for real? <laughs> one game, like maybe before. Actually, in the. In, Okay, so in the past I had this thing, I had to play like one game before scrims, like warm-up. But like during playoffs, I didn't even feel like playing one game before scrims. So I just like, I just went into scrims and I was playing Orn and it was like this, like it doesn't actually matter if I play the game. It doesn't even matter if I play like 10 games. So I was just playing Orn and then just going to auto-attack them. And like it was the same, it was the same game plan every time, you know. I felt like I perfected the style, so... (laughs) So I was like, right, Look, I mean, I mean, if it works, you may as well just fucking... Just uninstall League of Legends before any every scream. Like I, 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 I can't care less. You know, if it works, it works. No, I played like okay, like seven days. Um, I probably played like seven to eight solo games. 
Holy shit. Okay. It's not a game. Before, before finals. <laughs> There's a high chance. There's a high chance your manager played more than you. <laughs> Actually, true, yeah. No, I think no, he's, pretty low. Like on the, he's on the war front hype chain. War zone. Oh, war zone, okay. war front, not yeah, war zone. <laughs> okay, so um, questions from uh, social media, okay? From people. From Twitter. At C at J B C Yo, you know what? I'm not I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna say your fucking name. You have to get better at putting names. Wonder, how do you feel no, how do you feel when you stumped top three top laner in ADC when not even playing Solokio for two weeks? Just give me two words, three words, Max. Go. Uh name one word. Felt very good. <laughs> Question <laughs> Question from Twitter. <laughs> Detecto. Any plans to relax between splits or is it straight into summer prep, Mickey? I mean, I'll probably chill a bit. I mean, I'll try out the new patch because the new patch came out like a few days ago. Um, otherwise, I'll probably try some game, try, try some games like Valorant or I'll watch some anime or something. We'll see. I'm having really carry, okay? Just add me. All right. <laughs> Wonder. We should play uh, Valorant actually. I, I know okay. you're. You know, I got asked in the chat the other day. Who's the, who do you, you know? Who's the better shooter player in in G2 League of Legends team? And I said, without a doubt, it has to be Wonder. Everybody well, else fucking sucks. Well, I'm Danish, right? So it exactly. would make it would make sense. Uh, Debatable. All right. So, Twitter from Alice underscore Palis. Who is the better Jana? <laughs> who's better Jana? Well, I mean, my Jana was like great, honestly. Maybe maybe Wonder. Just okay, I think I, I have like one complaint about Miki's Janna. I mean, it's understandable because uh, he's like a bit of a first-time Janna player, right? <laughs> uh, but he was using his tornadoes Tornado. a bit too wild, I think. That's true. Uh, yeah. We were playing against Zack. Like, Zack was like running around, you know, looking for the jump. <laughs> and Miki was just throwing tornadoes left and right, you know. Uh, so we were like kind of inviting Zack to jump on us. Um, but that's all, all the complaints I have. I didn't see laning phase, of but course. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the landing was no different. I was just spamming Qs off cooldown. But uh, <laughs> so, uh, I was just like watching too many Janna one tricks where I just like put a tornado like at a random one. spot, random spot on the lane, and then like you just have to click whatever in lane, and then people will walk into it, and then it feels really good. And we're like, we'll get a full charge Q in the face. It's like so nice. But then yeah, yeah. that was that was my only complaint. So I think yeah. I, I probably like win the Janna war the first time. But yeah, I agree. Yeah. My Janna wasn't great. Question from Green Legend third. 1,314 kilograms. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Which LPL team does G2 want to meet in MSI? What do you think, Mickey? <laughs> um, I want to meet FPX again. So we can oh, win. you want to meet FPX? Yeah. yeah um, I, would, I would rather play against uh, IG. Actually, both Actually, of it's FP Why? FPX, FPX is playing with Khan, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, FPX and IG are both fine, and I would, I would rather play against IG, though. I think uh, the time the time is, like, the, the, this is the right time. We have to beat them now. Yeah, I have also, a bigger, bigger grudge against IG than FPX. Really? <laughs> I also just prefer playing as FPX with a better bot lane. Like, I think IG new bot lane is not that great. Okay, uh, fine. I, that's, some, that's some shots fired, man. Bro, I have PTSD against Nautilus. Every time I see us playing against Nautilus, I'm so scared, bro. <laughs> Same with even like support, like I'm just scared. I'm I don't know, scared. I think it's a free win whenever it's a support, but when it's mid, it's pretty scary. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, I don't know, I have PTSD. All right, so let, let, let's find some clip against Mad Lions. Let's see, and just then you give me the play by play, okay? Mickey, you're gonna be doing the play by play now. Okay, I'm a play -caster. <clears throat> okay. okay, so oh, let me no. just, uh, okay, oh, so. No. We say uh, enemy botling can't play bot. Bard is probably going top. I didn't mention Ezreal, but Bard is probably going top. And we saw him on the uh, Rex side passive. And Rex is just sitting there, and we're like, uh, "There's a Bard behind you." And he's just chilling there for like three seconds, not moving at all. I think he might be DC'd. Um, but yeah, <laughs> then we just kind of died. And then here, I should probably stay in the tower, but I mean, I kind of walked out and then flashed back in, which is not very great. And then we do a double TP. And what is this? It was a bit cringe, like how we played it out, I think. <laughs> and I think, then one... Uh, <laughs> maybe if Aatrox goes with the Azir, we get two kills. But, uh, yeah. At level 3 Azir is too strong for level 6 Azir, it looks like. Um, and yeah, it was just a uh, goddamn disaster. Meanwhile, Kalisa just chilling bot, getting a free win. But yeah, I guess it worked out Wonder, in the end. Wonder, do you think you could have helped your teammate? 
Um, going for the support. I mean, I think honestly, if I went there and Bard came and Akali TP'd, we were probably been the same outcome. Uh, what I need to know is that Rex I DC'd here. Yeah, I mean, all, all, I think everything was like fine here in this current state. Um, besides the Rex I like kind of just pressing S and uh, uh, maybe like. Maybe like all the bubbles that comes around when you play Rexa, he didn't really like see them, or he turned them off in settings or something. But he didn't, he didn't like, he didn't like get the, well, he didn't really understand how his champ worked at that that current time. So that was like a bit unfortunate. He didn't even flinch. It's crazy. He didn't even flinch. Like he was actually like <laughs> balls of steel on that one. Okay, we 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 have another clip. Okay. Take on it away. Tank, okay. On tank violence. Take it away. Okay, okay, okay. So here I'm hitting him. <laughs> I'm hitting him. I silence into the Q so he can't W it, and I oh, how fucking crazy is that? <laughs> That's like tank mechanics. Shogat, Shogat one on one, one on one. Always silence. Yo, but how broken this pick was against them. Holy crap. Yeah, I was smurfing. <laughs> look at this, look at this. I get him low, low enough so I can do the one-shot combo. This is the one-shot no. combo. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> That's good stuff, good stuff. Oh, that was no trouble. AP. <laughs> <laughs> you have a clean Chogat AP, man. Yeah, I know, I know. Very clean. All right, and, and let's go now for Fnatic games, okay? Like the real shit. Bot lane dive. Let's see what this is. Bot lane dive. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Oh, so no. Let's see. We have like okay. a okay. What is this? Okay. That was absolutely crazy. It's yeah. a Nikki X special. It's a time catch engage, yeah. I mean, I don't really do those on time catch, but you know. And no, then Ligard. Okay, okay look at this. On the pixels, we can see time catch ult again. We can see Silas ult. I tried to stop his ult, but he still got Ooh, it. Oh, that's pretty close. It's pretty close. Yeah, yeah. It's like oh, probably impossible. <laughs> I get the flash E <laughs> onto the field. No! Flash predict, dodging the E <laughs> from the side. What? There's no and way. A full bellow <laughs> spread on all of them. Like, how crazy? Bellow spread. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, and then Viger no, no, no. decides to R the Orn instead of the gold one. Boom! I'm just too tanky. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. Tanky. All right. Uh, Wonder one v one versus Buipo. Oh shit! What am I gonna get now? What 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 do I expect out of this clip? Actually, I didn't see it yet. I wanna see it. I am wondering. Actually, every clip is just Wonder solo killing or what? Okay. Okay. Oh, that was after the first solo kill already. Yeah, he's he was like he he needed to push this wave out. Oh, I was watching uh, this Oh online, my actually. god! Oh, uh, look at his next Q. Oh, the Q is coming up! Oh, I got him! Oh, but, shit. No, no, no. Sack, okay, so because Sack is very low on health, he's very small and uh, <laughs> slippery. <laughs> You're uh, too small. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's actually one broken thing about Sack. He has like a low HP power spike because he's so so small. Yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. Makes okay. Sense. Um. Oh, the Fnatic gets pulled off Baron. I remember it. Caps was doing Dragon. Yeah, let's do this one. Okay, all right. That, that's a spice. Yeah, do you think that. this was a, this was a good play from us actually? Do you think it was, it was correct to do the Drake being well? I don't know. Mm. Um, it was a, it would be the fourth one, right? So I think it was pretty good. Yeah. I think our Jana Q was like kind of troll. It uh, was. But actually, it, yeah. I think it was good, no? Okay, and actually, Jana kind of fucking smurfed this fight. But look at Orn ulting actually, from, oh, from behind. That's pretty. Actually, that's we're pretty so good. What? That makes no sense. <laughs> Yeah, I think actually just like Janna and Orn actually carried this fight rate can we go back? <laughs> We're way too good actually. You have yeah, to play this again actually. Okay, let's go back. Okay, okay, so my okay, first tornado I think was not bad, no? Because like, yeah, first tornado move. hits... Hits... Uh, hits Azir. And almost yeah, a mess, but he was like too slippery. Then look at this Janna ult and the Q after. Look, stop the, stop the sack E. Just the before I was about to get knocked out. And then look at Orn, he ult it backwards. So Bronk no! can stop him with shield. They, they were just constantly jumping. Oh no! no He's so in the air again! It's a jumpy castle. Monster Castle, whatever it's called. <laughs> it was just perma jumping on that team fight. Congratulations, it's 3 0 against Fnatic, which always feel great. <laughs> Actually, I've seen, okay, okay, I, I, I just want to say this because I've seen so many people, even like, uh, I think Bripo said, like he was asked, isn't, like, okay, I quote, isn't it unfair that G2 could lose to Matt? Oh, yeah. And then and then go to the finals and Fnatic loses once and they're out, right? Okay, I've seen well, this. That's exactly what happened last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah I've seen this and then I, I just want to rewind a bit, you know? Rewind all the way to when we played OG twice. We had to beat them twice to win and if we lost in the finals, we would still lose. We had to beat Fnatic twice and if we lost in the finals, we would still lose. I just want to say this because I see so many people like, like coming with this kind of argument just because the reverse happened, you know, where the team that was, was the first seed 
or like was uh, what came through winner bracket actually lost this time it's not like any different you know than any other years but yeah that's like yeah that's listen it, it, it is what it is and that is the run it down episode five i don't even fucking know which episode this is g2 run it down that was mickey and wonder um which actually played out of their minds they played really well against fanatic because fanatic fucking sucks <laughs> g2 run it down have a good day <laughs>